What's up guys? Courtney Truman Steamers. Today is September the 6th. I'm um, about to get ready ahead and start my day. Need a damn haircut. Uh, I'll try to get one later on today. But anyway guys, so I was looking at my calendar uh, for this week, today. Yesterday I did four jobs. Today I have five. And um, this is a subject that I always kind of talk about with a few of my local guys. And we call this keeping your back door closed. You want to have, always have your front door open and that's basically retaining to your business, but you want to keep your back door closed. And the reason why we say that is that when you have customers coming in, you want to keep those customers enclosed in your business. And that way, when we say keep your back door closed, we we'll make sure you know when they're coming in they're not going back out you know looking for other another company or other services and the reason why I thought about this is that this is a time right now usually around when kids go back to school August September business kind of slows down for a lot of us um, you know like me you know anywhere from February I say March to about August is usually about twenty thousand dollar months for me but around about August uh, September it kind of slows down about 20% or right, what happened is I still kind of stay busy myself but a lot of my uh, spillovers are you know kind of decline so I'm not subbing out work to my other guys that I use um, when it's real busy so I was looking at my calendar uh, yesterday and today and I noticed I said damn yesterday I did four jobs they were all repeat customers. Today I have five jobs. Out of those five jobs, three of them are repeat customers, two are new clients. Tomorrow is Thursday, I have four. Three of those customers are uh, repeat customers, one's a new one. Friday, I think I got three, and I think Saturday I have two, and out of those two customers on Saturday, I know one of them is a repeat customer. Guys, as your business goes along, especially if you're an owner operator. Now, if you're a guy that run a multiple a multiple uh, multiple truck operation, that might be a little different because you might have to always market uh, to keep new clients coming in because it's really hard to sustain uh, customers when you have multiple trucks because you just can't watch everybody and you're just part of the business. And when you have three, four, five vans, the quality is not going to be the same as an owner operator. Um, but when you're an owner operator. Uh, as the years go by, if you find yourself that you're still having to market as hard as you did when you got in the business, guys, that means your back door is open and you're not turning customers into clients. People are not uh, re using your services. They're not referring you. And that's when you're going to have a problem. Right now, if all my marketing shut down, if Google shut down, Facebook shut down, I can s still sustain my business and make good money just off my repeats and referrals that I've built up over the years. Make sure, guys, when you're going into these customers' home that you are letting that customer know they are the most important customer right there at the moment while you're in their home. A lot of guys get in this business and uh, they want to be in and out cleaners. They try to do the job as fast as possible. Uh, they're not friendly. They don't communicate with the customer. And that can be a big problem for your business as the years go by. And again, four or five years go down the road. And if you're still spending a lot of money on marketing, you have to ask yourself, what am I doing wrong? Now, I can't answer that for you because all of our businesses are different. Um, all of our business models are different. You guys know me. I'm an owner operator. Uh, again, I use a few guys uh, that I sell work out to uh, when I have a lot of work left over, especially when it's busy, especially when Thanksgiving and Christmas come around. But again, about 90 to 95 percent of my business I do on my own because each customer know what they're going to expect when they use Courtney uh, not true Miss steamers but when they use Courtney so uh, basically this point of this video is to help you guys keep your back door closed and that way if your marketing stop or if you stop marketing you can still sustain your business and still make good money because of the customers that you're keeping and also not only you're keeping they're referring you and they're telling their friends and family about you so that's the best way especially for an owner I mean any business is going to get referrals and repeat customers but especially for an owner operator because now as the years go by 
you don't have to spend all that money on marketing that you did when you first started again when I first started marketing my business I was using Google AdWords spending anywhere from five to six hundred dollars a week you know do the math uh, that's two thousand to twenty four hundred dollars a month um, you know to get new clients in but now uh, my business on autopilot. My phone rings every day. I'm booking jobs every day. Uh, <clears throat> I have my house call pro. I can see what customers are coming back to me. I mean, I have customers, guys, that use me two, every two to three months. And that's the kind of customers that you want. The customers that's not going to wait, you know, two or three years. You want the customers that's going to come back and be not customers, but clients. The customers that are going to tell the next door neighbors about you, your friends about you. The customers that will have you in this week doing a $200 carpet cleaning and then have you next week doing a thousand dollar hardware floor cleaning those are the kind of customers you want to build upon but at the same time you have to make sure you're taking care of that customer the best way uh, you can and letting that customer know that they are very important to your business because your customers are very important you have to understand that you know a lot of guys get into this business they just look at the money aspect and the guys if, if you get into this business or any business and your main focus is just the money I'm telling you you're gonna be in trouble because you know, if you do good work, you got a good personality, people see that, the money's going to come. And that's anything. Um, but when you have a bad attitude, you know, you're not friendly, guys, that can really uh, scare people away and that can really hurt your business. I mean, for example, I'm, you know, I'll use this for example. Uh, you guys, any of you guys know sports? Uh, if you look at Terrell Owens, one of the best wide receivers there ever was in the NFL. But what held Terrell Owens back was his bad attitude. Nobody wanted to play with him. No one wanted to work with him. He was always, you know, having this bad image for himself, but he was very talented. But you look at someone like Larry, uh, what's his name, Larry Fitzgerald, the guy will always have a job as long as he's healthy because, again, and he's not good as Terrell Owens. We know that, but the reason why he has a job, he because of the kind of person he is, the personality, people want to play with him, people want to work with him. Coaches don't mind coaching him. And, it, it, and that... Um, pertains back to business your customers only going to want to deal with you based on your attitude your friendliness and how you basically approach that customer uh when they do business with you so guys this is just a quick tip i want to start uh the day off with i know i haven't did videos in a minute but i got more coming it's just been a great spring and summer this year so we're about to get ready for the holidays so if you are slow guys don't panic because the holidays are around the corner and uh that's when it just you know it don't really get busy it's just that bit that rush like the first two or three weeks before the holidays and each month of november and christmas but again just keep doing what you're doing make sure you are keeping your back door closed so you can keep many i mean and don't get me wrong every customer that comes through your front door is not going to stay people are going to move people are going to try other people people are going to lose your phone number uh people uh, are going to replace the carpets maybe convert the hardwood floors but the name of the game is to try to keep as many of those customers um, in as possible so that way as the years go by again you don't have to spend as much money on marketing or market as much as you did when you first got in so this is just a quick tip guys keep the back door closed keep those customers in and a um, good way to grow your business especially as a small business owner operator and I'm telling you it will basically make a big difference uh, especially when it comes to your finances for your business so go ahead and start my day head to my first one Courtney Truman steamers see you guys in the next video thanks for watching